if you're a private practice owner, chances are you are already using an EHR system to help manage your clients or your patients. So the question lingers, do you need an accounting system in addition to your EHR system? Well, let's talk about that. So let me give uh, or introduce myself quickly. My name is Jeanette Andrada and I help private practice owners increase profit margins using tax and accounting strategies so they can focus on having a greater impact on their communities. So let's go ahead and get started and talk about EHR systems and accounting systems. So first let's talk about what an EHR system is. In this particular video, I'm gonna use simple practice since I do feel like it's a very common an EHR that is used by a lot of ther therapists and counselors. So an EHR system such as Simple Practice, it's, a, it's an electronic health record system. It helps you um, manage your client's appointments and it helps you accept payments, create invoices and file insurance claims with, you know, those, those, um, those clients that you see. So there's something missing there. If you haven't, if you didn't really catch that, the thing that's missing with the, the EHR system or something like simple practice is there is nowhere to track your expenses. Now you can't really have accounting without having the full picture, right? So that kind of brings me back to, um, you know, do you need an accounting system? Now the short answer is yes, you do. And it is very very wise to have both of them set up and they are they complement each other they um you know have their own functions as i mentioned the ehr is helping you track your your client appointments collect payments send invoices uh, file insurance claims and all of that jazz now quickbooks on the other hand is going to help you track your expenses um, once you have all your income and everything in your in your quickbooks it's going to help you see the overall health of your business now a really awesome thing is that it helps make tax season a lot less stressful because if you are bookkeeping and you're you're just maintaining Maintaining your finances, um, you know, throughout the year within an accounting system like QuickBooks, you are ready for taxes at the end of the year. You simply have to pull up your, you know, your profit and loss statement, your balance sheet, send it over to your tax accountant. Um, so it makes it that much easier versus trying to go through all your receipts or trying to put together a spreadsheet at the end of the year or something like that. So um, yeah, that kind of sums it up. I really um, recommend if you don't already have QuickBooks or any accounting system to go ahead and invest in it because in the long run, it is going to make things a lot um, you know, streamlined for your business. Something I like about QuickBooks itself is that it will scale with you if you needed to add payroll, if you wanted to pay your contractors, um, if you wanted to you know, open up different locations and expand to different um, different offices, then you could you could um, set up QuickBooks in a way that will help you see the profit and loss for each um, individual location or by practitioner. I mean, it's very flexible the way that you could set up QuickBooks. So you could see the overall picture. Now seeing your income is amazing and it's awesome, but you want to make sure that you're seeing the full picture because at the end of the day, you want to see what you're keeping at the bottom line. Um, so that way, you know what decisions you could make. You know that when it's time to hire someone, how much you could pay somebody when it's time to open up a new office. Um, so all of that's important to see the overall picture. Now, another thing um, that I always like to mention to my clients is that when you have an accounting system, what's really awesome is that you could look at it year after year after year. And so you could start looking at trends. You could see trends from each quarter. Um, you could set it up in a way that will um, tell you where your revenue is coming from. If you offer, let's say, um, coaching in addition to therapy, then you could kind of see, okay, this is how much I'm making from coaching. This is how much I'm making from from you know therapy services and at this time of year I know coaching is really bumping so I need to focus in my marketing strategies to get more coaching clients um so you really have a lot of advantageous things about 
QuickBooks. Um, so if you have any questions, you're not sure how to set up your QuickBooks in a way that's going to give you the information that you need, reach out to me. I will put my link down below. It's a link to my calendar. You could schedule a time with me, whatever works best for you. And we could sit together, go over what your goals are <clears throat> and see how I could help you reach those goals. So again, reach out to me and I look forward to hearing from you. I will talk to you next time.